with Mr. Francisco. And where are you guys coming from? We're coming from uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan. So about 18 hours away from here. Uh, northern, another northerner. Huh? I bet uh, you're enjoying the weather here, huh? Yeah, we're enjoying it. Although on the drive down, we actually encountered the storm systems. So we were actually in a gas station for like an hour and a half, making sure we avoided the tornado warnings. So that was interesting. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, a standard class or expert class? So this right here is the regular class aircraft. Um, and then behind where all the members are, we actually have the advanced class aircraft. Oh, so you have two teams this year? Yeah, so we've actually, it's the second year that we've done two teams. Um, we started off last year's because we wanted to expand the amount of design work that we had available for members. Um, and we decided to keep going with that because we found that it was a good experience for all our members. Oh, great. Can you give us an idea of some of the notable features of your design this year? Yeah, absolutely. So for the regular craft competition, um, the objective is to hold as many passengers, which are tennis balls, as possible. Um, if you look around the aircrafts right now, most of them hold them in like a fuselage type shape, like an airliner. We actually incorporate them inside the wing, um, as you can see right now through the camera. And that's actually a very unique feature to against most of the planes that you see right now for the regular class. Also the ailerons, which are the yellow portions of the wing, also act as flaps. <clears throat> so they're effectively flap runs. Um, so that's another unique part of this design. Looks like it's a pretty intricate design about how long did it take you to put it together? So this took us about two and a half months to design. Um, and the first iteration took about a month to build. Um, the second iteration was a little bit quicker, only took us two weeks to build. Um, and we've been, so we've been at it since September. That's really not that bad, it's pretty fast, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of late nights, um, long hours. The members have really been putting a lot of work. Um, the chief engineers have done a fantastic job. Um, we do pull on lessons from the past to help us out and kind of streamline the process. So I should buy stock in pizza and Red Bull? Absolutely. Uh, one last question. Have you flown it? Yeah, so this guy actually flew... Um, four times, I believe. Um, we had some successful test flights, some non-successful test flights, um, with varying degrees of success for the successful ones. Well, I guess we're going to see you tomorrow when you fly it again, huh? Yeah, we're All looking right. forward to it. All right, good luck. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Take care. Hi, I'm here with May. And May, uh, what, where are you guys coming from? What team are you? Uh, Mexico. We're from Mexico. Ah, I would like, that was my first thought. And what's the name of your team? Uh, we're named Fox Force. That's ah. Me. Yeah. Okay, tell us a little bit about your airplane. Okay, um, we're participating in the regular class. Uh, this is uh, our seventh edition participating in this competition. Uh, so this is uh, our aircraft for the regular class, seventh edition Fox Force. Great. About how long did it take you to build it? Oh, we started like a year ago. Uh, it took a long for us to design and test it and uh, do stress analysis. That took us more than half of a year. And for the manufacturing part, it took us uh, a month and a half, like six weeks. Yeah. Well, that's great. Sounds like you put a lot of work into it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Peter and Martha, and they have a very interesting plane here. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, we're from Poland, from Wrocław University of Technology, and uh, we have a model uh, of advanced class. Uh, have you been to the advanced class before? Yes, this is our first start in this class. Ah, can you tell us a little bit about your airplane? This all composition cons is composition construction. We mainly use grass and carbon fiber to produce the wing. We use vacuum lamination in polyurethane mold to produce fuselage as well as wing stabilizers, uh, landing main landing gear uh, for more burned elements such as lightning gear. We, we use steel and aluminum, aluminum construction. Uh, what I can say more. We can leave 90 pounds of total payload and drop free packages. Yes, it looks very nice. I see you spent a lot of time doing the composite work. About how much time do you think it took to do this? Uh, this is this plane we made two months, but preparing for that, you know, first we need to prepare the molds to millis. After that, we need to uh, polish these molds, and after the steps, we can start the lamination process. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of work, but it looks really nice. 
Uh, is this your first time in America? Uh, yes, it is my first time, but uh, our jet stream group is ninth time uh, and uh, we compete uh, inside our design for the ninth time. Yes, I remember the Poland team has been here quite a few times and uh, you guys generally do pretty good, so it's good to see you back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, what's your name? Rodolfo. Rodolfo, where are you guys coming from? Well, Marquette University in Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Ah, uh, it's a lot warmer here than it is up there, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We had to test flying snow this past couple weeks, so it's a lot different here. But yeah. Wow, awesome. Uh, I see. It looks like a standard class you're in just this year. Right. Yep. Standard class. It's the first time we're this team, this group of guys are competing in the standard class. Because last year we've done two years in micro, so this year we decided to step up in regular class. So um, it's a lot of stuff that we've been just trying to accomplish this year for the first time. Ah, to step up in the world. So um, since you're stepping up, can you tell us a bit about your aircraft? Okay, so basically we have, um, so with the passenger, we had the passenger bay and the, and the luggage lift bay. We're, it's designed to carry the most at eight, uh, 18 passengers with these, uh, you can see here, you have this, it opens up and we have, we place our tennis balls in the, that's the passenger bay. And that is attached to the top of the fuselage of the plane. And then if you see underneath the plane as well, there's inside the fuselage, we have our payload bay, which, which, is, which is our luggage that we attach. And then we're using a, uh, I myself, I'm an electronics guy in the team, so we're using a power, power 60 motor from the E-Flight, which is pretty powerful. So we, we have a thousand watt power limit on it, but so, and our motor is, pulls, pulls up at max 1200 watts. So we have, to, we have to like measure out which prop we can use and not burn, and not hit the power limiter when we were flying it. Yeah, that's very key. We saw some issues with that last year where you, you, also, you're right at the limit. And then also what we, uh, what we try to incorporate from last year, because last year we had a team from Marquette that did the regular class. We incorporated their, their, their style of the, the H-shaped tail. But instead, but instead they, they had a, a wooden tube. We had a magnesium tube that we use because it's much lighter and easy to work with. Looks like you got some really nice laser cutting there for the ping pong balls. Correct, yeah. Everything is laser cut for our, for our team. So we cut, laser cut the, the airfoils and everything for our... So you ha have you had a chance to fly her yet? Yep, we flew three weeks ago. Up, oh, we, we have our pilot, yep. And uh, we uh, went up there and flew. But what happened when our, during our test flight was that a spar that was go that goes through the wing that's an aluminum spar uh, was was it was it wasn't strong enough so the wing started bending up upwards and flapping so basically what we did was we bought a stronger spar so we went from an was a quarter inch quarter inch to uh, inch the spar yeah so we went from a eighth from a quarter inch to an eighth from a half inch to an eighth to a full inch with spar that goes through the wings that's supposed to, supposed to not let them flap up. Great, yeah. <laughs> yes. Making it strong is a good thing. Correct, yeah. All right, well, we'll see you tomorrow, and thanks, and good luck. Yeah, no problem. Now.